stream, I'm gonna go ahead and create the pen tool in Affinity Designer. The reason why I'm streaming is because I just want to just feel like streaming. I just want to see how. I just want to do feel like. Ah, uh, sorry. I feel like streaming, so I wanted to go ahead and do it. Uh, I think I haven't done a stream in a while, so. But today we're gonna go ahead and create the pen tool in Affinity Designer. We're gonna make a little pen tool icon or uh, illustration more really what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, hold on, just give me one second please, alright? Thank you. Alright, I was just checking to see how loud my audio was. It was very loud. And uh, here I am again checking it, see how loud it is now. And uh, hopefully it's not too loud now. So we're, we're just trying to see how loud my audio is. Hopefully not too loud. Um, uh, I'll be back once once again. Okay, okie dokie, well, I am back. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and just get started on this uh, pen tool illustration that I have planned out for today. So we're gonna go ahead and just start the pen tool illustration process. Alright, <laughs> oh, okay, so. 
How we're going to start off with this illustration is by first creating a new layer, and we'll just go ahead and call it stroke. All right, so we'll just do that. We'll call it stroke. And then now we're going to go ahead and just um, begin our uh, process here. We'll begin by head and go ahead and just create a triangle. That is what we'll do. And I hope it's the uh, the quality is good. Um, I feel like the quality is not very good actually. Hmm. My video quality is horrible. All right, looks like it's looking better now. Let's just start. <laughs> Let's just start. Let's just start. All right. All right. Okay. We'll just begin now. So we're going to go ahead and start off by creating this triangle right here. Let's just create this triangle. Now we'll get rid of the fill and we're gonna go ahead and add a stroke of eight points. Okay, 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 okay. Now that we have eight point stroke fill on this triangle, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and convert this guy to a curve. That's what we're gonna do for now. And then we're just gonna go ahead and, um, what do you call it? We're gonna need to create some more. Uh, just create these like points here. I'll just bring these guys down, like so. So now we got this uh, kind of like this diamond shape, almost, almost is like diamond-like shape. That's what we have. Okay, so now that we got that diamond shape, we're just gonna go ahead and. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're a little uneven because we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna end up doing it anyways. It's just uh, Cutting it in half and then reflecting it that way. It's pretty symmetrical But yeah, once you got that shape down, I mean it's pretty this is pr it's pretty easy illustration today So we we'll just bring it down a little bit more and then now what we're gonna do is just grab one of the sides right here and We're gonna go ahead and go to our curvature tool uh, or our node tool, which is A on your keyboard, and just grab one of the sides and just push it in like so. Just slightly push it in to the left. Very so slightly. Okay, so now that we got that down, we're gonna go ahead and just duplicate this layer. I mean that our that curve. Now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is grab a rectangle like so. And once we grab our rectangle, we're just gonna go ahead and put it towards the middle, in the middle of the whole thing, of our little arrowhead that we just did. And now we're just gonna grab both items, both objects, hold shift and grab both of them. Now we're gonna go up here to the subtract and hit that. So now you got half of your arrow or your pen tool head. So now we're just gonna hold control J on the keyboard and flip it around like so and now once you got that you're just gonna hold shift and move it to the left and now you're gonna grab both items and then we're gonna go ahead and press add up here and it adds it to 
it merges both of our selections together. So now you got an even curve. You got the bottom is even, and then the sides are even. That same curve they had on this side, now it's on the other side without having to do it individually and have them uneven. Lob sided. Okay. Okay. So we got that. Very good. So now that we got that down, now we're just going to go ahead and create the little. Uh, if you see, if you look at a pen tool like within Adobe Illustrator or uh, Photoshop, you'll see that it has like a like a middle, like kind of like that middle piece right here, like a regular, you know, like the olden day pens, I guess. So we're just gonna go ahead and create that. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab a our rectangle tool, our square tool, and we're just gonna go ahead and create a rectangle about this wide, okay. And then we're just gonna put it in the middle of the pen tool and maybe a little bit more narrow and then we want how far do we want it uh that kind of depends because we should also create a circle so we're just gonna go ahead and create a circle and put it in between so we'll go ahead and create a circle and then make it about this big uh about 180 you know what we'll just do 180 pixels uh oh geez 180 pixels tall and in height and width and let's just we'll do that so now we got a perfect circle okay and if we're gonna want it like a little bit below these lines right here mathematically we want them below but because it, is, it looks like too low we're gonna go bump it up by hold shift and hold up arrow two times and now it looks more like it's actually on the same plane as the sides of these sharp points that we're looking at okay 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 so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go go ahead and grab our square our long rectangle and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our little head and then we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate that because we don't want to lose it in case we screw this up same thing with the rectangle and then we'll just hide it so now we're gonna go ahead and grab this rectangle and the arrowhead together and then we're just gonna go hit divide subtract i mean and now you got this indent in the pen tool head hmm? Hmm? see so simple now the problem is that um it's supposed to be with the, uh, what do you call this? The circle as well. Uh, I didn't go low enough, so we're gonna go undo all this again. Cause I didn't go low enough. And so we're gonna go ahead and grab this rectangle and just bring it down. So it goes with the circle. So undo everything. Bring this rectangle down. Right here. Woo. Woo. And then you can put this guy in the middle of this head of the pen tool. And then you can go ahead and grab uh, again the rectangle tool and this guy. Hit subtract. And then good thing we had our other rectangle that we didn't get rid of yet because then we got to go all the way to the same level that we had the previous one. If I could get it down to that same level. And then now we're just going to go ahead and duplicate it again and hide it and we're gonna put it above our circle layer and then just gonna grab these guys together and just hit add and uh, yep I messed that up so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of these little nodes right here boom spam <laughs> oh wow that I screwed that one up bad <laughs> <laughs> let's undo let's undo it all again undo everything undo because I messed it up all right let's try this again <laughs> let's try this again we're just gonna go ahead and grab these guys together and just do that there you go and then what we're gonna do is grab uh, this little rectangle that we just create merge with the circle grab it right here and hit our, what do you call it? Divide tool. And then we can get rid of this top piece of the, there you go. 
Shabam. Oh, yep. I screwed that up again. Uh, if you hear my dogs barking in the background, sorry about that. They, uh, they were sleeping. And now they're riled up at something. So, yeah, there you go. We're just subtracted the shape, okay? <laughs> I was making it a lot more complicated than it needed to be. So, now we've got that. Sweet. Awesome. Cool. Dope. So, now what we're going to do, our fellow students, is we're going to go ahead and grab... Now that we got this whole... What do you call it? Pen to a head shape going on which is nice looks very good to me um, I mean this is kind of big of a big gap but yeah oh well it's whatever so now what we're gonna do is create the bottom piece of this guy so we're gonna go ahead and just create another rectangle and just make it like this we're gonna go ahead and do it 570 width and our height will be 190. Okay. Now grab both shapes and make sure they're centered. And you're just gonna grab this guy and we're gonna bring it up. Shabam! Right up against this arrowhead. See that? Right up against it. Alright. 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 Okay. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is duplicate this bottom rectangle again. And we're gonna go ahead and just rotate it. And just bring it down. And then we can go ahead and make it wide. Not as wide as the top piece. Okay, not as wide. Just a little bit shorter, a little bit more narrow. And we're just gonna go bring it down uh, from the bottom. Just pull it down. Okay. Now we're just gonna go ahead and grab, grab this whole thing. And we're just gonna go ahead and bring it up. Okay. So now we're gonna grab this place down, bring it down more. Okay. All right. So now that we got that, we're just going to go ahead and duplicate this rectangle so we can save it in case we screw it up. And then we're just going to go ahead and convert it into a curve. Okay. And so the image doesn't look so very uh, basic and static. We're going to go ahead and add some curves to this rectangle on the bottom. Okay. So we're just going to curve it in this way. And we're going to curve it in this, this way. Like so. And uh, I kind of want to make it look like an arm, arm shape, kind of. Like, uh, let's see, how to explain this? So it doesn't look so boring, I guess. I don't know, boring, weird. We'll go ahead and make it like arm-like. So if I look at pictures on arm on the internet, you can see a forearm. Here, we'll just copy and paste this, this image so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so if you see this form right here, right? You see how it goes from narrow to like outward? So we'll do the same thing. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and undo this guy and then we'll get back a rectangle we had, duplicate it again, cop uh, hide away the second one and then we're just going to go ahead and see narrow too wide so we're just gonna go do the same thing convert this rectangle into a curve and we'll bring this guy in a little bit one two three four five hold shift and hit your uh, right arrow key five times and then grab this guy and hit your left arrow key five times one two three four five all right cool so now you got that kind of like the arm shape all right and we're just gonna go ahead and grab the left side and just bring it outward a little bit like so now grab the right side and grab it up a little bit too. Yay! Now we got the shape. Yay! Let's grab this guy again a little bit more and pull it out a little bit more. Yay! Now we got this pen, pen-like shape. And so as you can see, this top piece is way too big compared to the little hand part. So we're just going to go ahead and shorten up this guy a little bit, make this guy a little bit smaller. Grab it all, all together, hold shift, hold shift, control and alt together so we could just 
turn it like that and just grab this guy and we'll just put it in between this guy again I believe these guys are not centered on the page so we'll just center on the page and then center this guy on the page now we'll bring this guy up like so just make it a little bit longer and now we can go ahead go ahead and grab the bottom and shura grab the other side <laughs> grab both sides uh, why is it not grab both sides grab both sides and just curve them Woo! yay now you got a rounded bottom Hurrah, huzzah! Cool. Now we got that random bottom piece to our pen tool. Alright. And let's just bring the top, top ends a bit more. So grab the right side and hit, hold shift and hit left arrow key two times. And same thing with the other side. Two times. There you go. And now we got our pen tool. Our little pen tool. And it looks very nice. Okay, so now that we got all that done, we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate that stroke layer, and then we're just gonna go ahead and lock the layer, our stroke layer, and call this new layer uh, color. And we're gonna go ahead and delete all all of the duplicates that we have because now we don't need these guys because we have fit in the first layer. Okay, okay. So now that we got that going on. We're gonna go ahead and just, uh, what do you call it? Unmerge this group right here. So now you got these shapes separate. And we're gonna go ahead and grab all these shapes and we're gonna get rid of the stroke on all these guys. Boom. And then what I want to do is make a color. Let's make this bottom part of the pen tool. Let's go ahead and make it a blue, okay? Like a nice little baby blue. Like a pastel blue. We're just gonna go ahead and go to our RGB sliders. Make it a nice bright pastel blue like this. A very bright blue, okay? Then we're gonna grab our rectangle as well and do the same color. Shabam. And you know what we can actually do? Just grab that rectangle and since this bottom is curved we could turn this guy curved to kind of be more consistent across the whole piece so just curve all four corners of this top rectangle a little bit like so if it lets me curve it there I go like so now it's a little bit more consistent the bottom of the whole thing and so now hide that layer and then now we're just gonna do the same we're just gonna color the top part of the pencil we'll just do the same guy we'll just do like a like a grayish there we go like a grayish um, blue the blue but more gray that's how we do that's how we do it all right so easy right So now, then we got this guy down. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and add our details. Our details, hooray! So we want our light source to be coming from the top left corner of the screen, right? So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, make our shadows. So we create a new layer and call it shadows now. Shadows. And we just copied the bottom part and put it into that new layer paste it into the new layer and now what we're gonna do is just move a piece so we could have it we're gonna duplicate our uh, handle and we're gonna move it slightly to the top to the left and then move it upwards and then I'm just gonna grab both these guys together and just hit our subtract tool and then now that we got this now that we did that we got this like piece right here that we could fill in darker color than the handle we have so I like to go to my see my case lights and just hit 90 on the case side and then just hit it halfway opacity half opacity 
So now you got a nice dark shadow. Which go a little bit less than half. And then you got a nice dark shadow. And to give it a little bit more of a sh darker shadow towards the bottom of the handle, just go ahead and just use our pen tool. Get it, pen tool. To make a curve like this. In average, you can go ahead and make it the same color for shadow. And we're going to put it below the first shadow that we have. And our stroke pressure, which you can go ahead and put a point in the middle of the pressure and just do this. So, first you gotta select this guy and then peek it like that. And so now you have your stroke will now be um, thin on the sides and thicker in the middle. And we'll just turn this guy into a 15 point stroke like that. And we'll lower the opacity to halfway. Okay, so now you got a nice little highlight, a little shadow highlight. Just to signify that it's darker in that spot. Oh, cancel that. Okay, so now we got that down. So now let's do the same thing for this guy. So just grab this curve and then bring it down. Copy it into your shadow layer. We'll zoom in a little bit and now we're just going to go ahead and duplicate it and we'll move it like so. Now we grab both of these shapes. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and subtract. Oh, yeah! Zbam. And we'll just darken it. Zbam. And then we'll just lower the opacity halfway. Less than half, actually, because it's closer to the surface of our light source. And so it's gonna be lighter than this piece right here. And so now you got that little, little shadow going on. And we'll do the same thing with our main head of the pen tool. So just copy and paste so we can have the whole the whole little thing, the whole deal. And just duplicate and move up and left again and grab it. Grab both your duplicate and your original and then subtract. And then we're just going to go ahead and darken it up very dark. And then we're just going to get rid of unnecessary pieces that we don't need. So we don't need these little bits. And we got this little part here. And maybe a little too thick. But we'll just go ahead and no opacity. Almost no opacity. Like that. And now you have a nice little shadow on the left side of our guy. Our pen tool. But I think it is too thick. I think it'll be way too thick. So we're just gonna go ahead and move these points a little bit. To make it a little thinner. Just grab this guy and just move it, bump it to the right. Grab this guy, bump it down to the right. Now you got a little bit thinner of a shadow. And look at that, your illustration looks so much better than... Let's look and see how it looks without the shadows. That's right, alright. No shadows? Shadows. Oh, very nice, very nice. So very nice. Let me get rid of this guy. We don't need this image anymore away okay cool 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 now let's add our highlights so lock your shadow layer make a new layer rename it highlights because now we're gonna make the highlights all right so since it's a pen tool and the pen part is a uh, metallic we're gonna go ahead and create um what do you call them? The little reflections on this guy with rectangles. All right. So we we'll just go ahead and grab our pen tool, and we'll just make simple rectangles. Get rid of the stroke. Don't need stroke. And we'll just add a fill just so we can see what we're making. And then we're just gonna go ahead and just make, bam, and connect them. And now we'll just make these guys a little bit shorter, a little bit closer. We're gonna make a thin. Thin rectangle like this. Yeah, yeah. Alright. And now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, grab the top part of our pen tool again, and we're gonna use it to cut out this rectangle right here. So now what we're gonna do is just grab this, 
grab both these guys together, your rectangle and the top part of the pencil. And you can go ahead and grab, uh, once we grab them, subtract it. And now you have this individual, whoops, it's not what it did though. Maybe this guy's gotta be on top. Grab both these guys, subtract it. No, yep, nope, 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 nope. Gotta figure out. Uh, maybe it's intersect. Yep. But you kind of have to intersect the pieces together. So now you got your individual shape, your rectangle. That's cut in between. Uh, what do you call it? So now you got it cut right here. Woo. It followed the shape of the pen tool. So you don't have to do it yourself. And so now I'm just going to do white. So we just bump it up to white. And now you got your reflection. Shabam! reflection and the opacity we'll just do like we'll just get rid of uh, about more than, we'll do this about this much of opacity it's about 75% opacity all right cool so now what we're gonna do is uh, I should have saved that first rectangle but I didn't so we're just gonna go ahead and recreate it with our pen tool again which we'll make another one Like that see not too hard and just flip it around a little bit not too hard to make and we grab this shape right here copy and paste onto our highlight layer and now we're gonna grab our rectangle that we did it's full of the color so we can see where it's at okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna go ahead and grab this guy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and intersect it again so now you got your shape your new highlight shape and we'll just do it white again oh nice nice and we'll do lower the opacity on this guy a lot more we'll do this on 50 percent opacity there you go oh look at that it looks uh, shiny very shiny now Very shiny. Okay, so now that we got that going down, you know, the reflection on the pen tool itself, let's add a reflection on our handles now. Let's add highlights to our handles. So, how we're going to do this is we're just going to go ahead and make, create curves. So, grab your pen tool and then just make a straight line all the way down like that. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this baby blue color. And then we're pretty much going to turn this baby blue into a white on our lightness. So all the way white like that. Cool. And then we're just going to go ahead and curve it a little bit to the left. And downwards like this. See? A highlight. Now you got a nice little highlight here. And we'll just make it an 18 point highlight. And we'll just move it over a little bit to the right. And now you got a nice big old highlight right here. And then we'll do the same thing for the rectangle part of the pen tool. So we just make two points diagonally and we'll curve it like this. And then we're just going to really make it thin. Thin it out a lot. Because it's way too thick. There you go. Then we're just going to place it so you can see a little bit better. And then we'll add another highlight. A straight highlight, like not too large, and then just grab both of these guys, and we'll leave them at that strength. But we'll lower the opacity on this one a little bit, on the main handle. So we just lower it to seventy-five percent, and there you go. And I keep hitting the save button. We'll save this real quick. Call it Pentel. We'll save it, and there you go. There's your Pentel. A nice little pen tool. You got your highlights and you got your shadows. Cool. See? So simple. Simple to create this guy. So now we can just grab it all and group it all together. And then there you go. There's your uh your pen tool. See look at that? A nice little vector pen tool, you know, easy to 
easy to create and uh, you could use this guy for many little reasons whatever reasons you want you know just create it use it yourself uh, it's actually changed the colors of the stroke of the whole stroke of this guy so we'll just go to our stroke layer and we'll change the stroke color we'll change it to this pink see if it changes yep okay so now we'll just do a very dark blue we won't do black because black uh, pure black kind of hurts the eyes digitally so we'll just do a very dark blue and it just makes the image look so much nicer like so and I guess you could always if you really want to you could do and see duplicate this whole group and we could rasterize it and let's try uh, let's go to our what do you call it our pixel persona and grab you know select this whole thing and let's try playing with uh, different colors of like how we can make this whole thing look uh, a little bit different so what we're gonna do is grab we're gonna choose the color let's try let's try this let's see let's try this dark blue and just go, grab our brush tool and just fill it all up and it didn't choose it's not using the colors we had selected there you go sweet perfect all right deselect it and now go back to our affinity panel and then you can go ahead and play with the layer uh the layer what do you call it blend mode there you go the blend modes Ooh, i like the overlay it gives it like that chill icy feeling like that or you could do soft light and it's the same thing not as harsh but i kind of like the harsher one and the opacity which we'll go ahead and do 50 percent And then kind of gives it like an ice, icy chill feeling. Look at that. That's nice. It's a nice feeling it gives it. I like that. Maybe we'll keep keep it that way. And then now, since I like these colors, maybe we can make a color palette out of it. So let's try creating. Let's add a new layer. And let's just make a squ square. All right. And we'll just go ahead and grab the square. And we'll just grab the same color here and I got this icy blue bump up the opacity I got this icy blue now and this whole thing let's see let's just grab these guys together groupies together as well let's see if we get this icy blue like what color is this so just grab your eyedropper tool Shabam. There you go. And now we can go ahead and just keep on. We got this icy blue. Let's create another a rectangle. And take the color of the pen tool part. And now you got this icy gray. And now we we'll just go ahead and duplicate this rectangle again. I'll we'll just grab the highlight. Or I mean one of the shadows. Duplicate again. And grab a darker shadow. And then we'll just duplicate again. And just grab even the darker. And then we'll duplicate one more time. Grab this guy right here. No, wait. We're gonna grab this guy up here. And we'll move these together. This is darker. It's gonna go on below. This is lighter. It's gonna go up top. Bump it up. 
and then we just got the bottom. And we got our color palette. Cool. Oh, we're missing. We're gonna be missing a color. Let's grab these guys and pop it up here. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're missing a color. So I just dupl duplicate these guys right here. And you want the stroke. Sweet, now I got a whole color palette. So let's see. What can we do with this color? Let's see how it looks. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. We'll just go ahead and create. Let's see. Um, which we'll create a quick face. So this guy can be on its own layer. Let's create a quick smiley face. Get rid of the strokes. Duplicate the circle. Let's make it small. Let's make some eyes. Yep, we got this icy color palette. We just create a whole color palette. Well, I guess we'll see how we use this in the future to create something else, eh? <laughs> Could even get more colors out of this by using an Adobe color and putting in one of the colors and throwing it in there. So yeah, but overall I think this looks pretty nice. Pretty sweet, pretty nice. So we'll just keep on uh, we'll just keep this guy. And if you know, we'll export it now. And then we'll just use it for whatever. You know, now you can use it for whatever you want. It's all up to you what you could use this guy for. Hmm? But now that's how we create this pen tool illustration. That's pretty nice. It's a very nice. If we want to make it look like he's creating something, we could just like like this, and then we we'll go ahead and. Make a dark color, this dark blue, and we'll get rid of the stroke pressure. So save profile, reset it. Okay. And now we're just gonna go ahead and let's see. Make this guy ten point. So what we're gonna do is create like this these anchor points to make it look like we're creating something with the pen tool the fun 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 so now we're just gonna go ahead and grab a square and get rid of the stroke pressure and you just turn it into the same dark blue all right grab this guy cool now just grab this guy boom and turn it a little bit like so and just duplicate it drag it and we're also gonna just rotate it and put it on this end and just go up this guy could also be rotated a bit more and bumped up a bit there you go make it more on towards the center line line them up right here That's good. And just put this in the middle. And just even it out. Like so. Center. Pump it up one more time. Oh look at that. It is creating. He's creating a line. Cause that's what the pencil does. Is create lines. Look at that, so so easy. So we pretty much just did, see look, I got the pen tool at the moment. Let's see, we created a one anchor point. It's, as you can tell, it's square. And we create another line. Now you got two anchor points. 
And if we add another anchor point in the middle, let's see. Let's just do that. I mean, technically, if you curve it, it'll make a circle anchor points, but you know, we ain't got time to we ain't got time to make all that. Attention to detail. Just wanted to make a quick little illustration. Let me just merge all these guys together. And shabam. And now there you go. You're making a line. I. 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 I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. Well, hmm. Interesting. Very cool looking, huh? And if, uh, what do y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all? Oh, uh, look at that. We got, uh, Jesus Maldonado in the chat saying, uh, super cool. I agree. Super cool. Very cool. What are you going to use it for, buddy? What are you going to use your illustration for? Nothing? Okay, cool. Use it to make stuff. Instead of... Nice. Same. Same boy. Same boy, yo. Well, that concludes our illustration for today. Honestly. All I wanted to show was just uh, on a live stream was just to create this pen tool. Illustration just because I thought why not, you know, it's been a while since I've live streamed might as well Might as well make something cool. I think it looks pretty cool Instagram worthy we should put it on Instagram Maybe it'll get a million likes and just kidding it won't get a million likes it really get like 40 likes But that's okay because we ain't trying to make it for likes. We try to make it for experience. And because it's fun to make illustrations, right? Eh? It's not fun to make illustrations. And to just chillax. And I need a cerveza. Need a cerveza. Look at that. We got uh we got two viewers. Welcome. Hello. Hello. To my stream. Oh, did we get three viewers? Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. We got two likes, though. Two likes. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, I'm famous. I'm so famous. Oh, we lost a viewer. No. <laughs> we lost a viewer. No. All right. Maybe I should make something else now that I'm here. Meh. Oh, how about we make this eyedropper tool, actually? Right here on the left side of the screen, you can see we can make an eyedropper tool. That'd be, that'd be cool. So we'll just call this guy Pen Tool. Alright. Now let's just make the eyedropper tool. Let's go home a whole new layer. I'm gonna call it Stroke again. Let's call it Stroke! Stroke Boil! Stroke Boy! Stroke Boy RD! Let's make this eyedropper tool, huh? But how are we gonna make it? Let's see. Well, if we look, if we take a look. Eyedropper tool. If I take a close look at this thing, it's a rectangle with like a little, little, little tiny, uh, smaller rectangle on the end of it, and it's like a circle and a rectangle. So we'll just use our basic shape, shape knowledge to create it real fast. So we're just gonna go ahead, what we're gonna do is grab our circle and just create a circle like so. All right. And I will make this 
actually, we'll get rid of the fill. And we need a 10 point stroke. Okay. 10 point stroke. We'll put it on the center of the page, and we'll just make this guy a little bit smaller. So hold, shift, control, alt, and drag down so it's all proportional. And so it's a perfect circle. Very perfect circle. And now what we're going to do is grab a rectangle tool and just make it like this wide and about that tall. Just about a thousand pixels wide and two thousand two hundred and fifty pixels tall. All right. So now we'll just put it in the center. So it's all centered. Okay, cool. And then we'll just bump it up a little bit. And then we'll just grab that same rectangle and duplicate it. And then we'll just rotate it 90 degrees. And we'll bring it down. Like so. And we'll make it a little bit wider. Like this. So now it looks too fat to be the eyedropper tool. So now we're just going to go ahead and make this top guy a little bit smaller than and then this guy even smaller even more narrow like so and then we we'll just do the same process again just duplicate this whole rectangle and bring it down and we'll just make it shorter and narrower and we'll bring it up here and now it looks like an eyedropper tool and if you know what an eyedropper tool looks like you know like a turkey baster maybe that's pretty much what it is, or like a, you know, an, something you use to put drops in your eyes, eyedropper tool. So, yeah. So that's how uh, we make this base shape of it. So, if we look at an, if we look up an eyedropper on Google Images, look at eyedropper on Google Images, and we'll see that we have. Um, Let's see, let's find a good picture. I don't like that picture. Find a decent picture of an eyedropper. Oh boy. Alright, so we got an eyedropper right here. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I got a little cough. But see, the general shape of the eyedropper, you can tell it's got like this little piece right here. And then you got like, I mean, this could be used as a rectangle. Some of them are more prominent than the others. This one's not so much. But you can see it kind of gets, gets has like a narrow, more narrow rectangle on the bottom. Like we have it here. So right now it looks weird, but we just got our base foundation of our strokes to make it, uh, you know, our shape base of our shape the basic principles of our shape and now what we're gonna do is just merge them all together so we can make it look more uh, like this guy okay okay so what I'm gonna do is um duplicate this whole stroke layer so we can keep it in case we messed up and now we're just gonna go ahead and start merging all these together so we can grab our rectangle and our circle grab both of them and then we're just gonna go ahead and hit add now you, you know you got this guy you know cool and I got that little eyedropper and what you can do also is just grab this bottom that top piece and then just go like this and now you got a more dynamic eyedropper and bring both these guys up shabam boom And then now, <clears throat> now what we could do is, uh, now we got this guy going on. Oh, we lost a viewer. No. Oh, but it's not uh, too big. I don't like the shape actually. So let's just undo it all. And what we're going to do is make this circle smaller. this and grab these guys and see how this looks mm, looks a little bit better 
But we can make this rectangle a little bit shorter now. Now see how this looks like when it's all merged. Ah, that looks better. I like that better. So now we just grab both these guys and we're gonna go up top. Center these two. And bring it up. And that looks better. Looks more cooler. Cooler, 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 eh? But I mean, we could always make it a little bit cooler. So now we grab this guy and we could just maybe put this right here so it could be more of a cooler shape and grab both these guys and bring it up. Cool. And now we're going to go ahead and grab this rectangle and this top shape. And go ahead and duplicate this top shape. And then grab this rectangle at the same time. And we're going to subtract it. And now you just got that base middle shape. And then we're going to grab this guy. And bring it up. And merge it along with this guy. See, now you got your... Uh... Now you got your little whole thing going on right here. Okay. So we can make it a little bit more narrow. And make this guy smaller. So it's more proportioned, better proportions, and we could always just make this guy a little bit taller. Bring these guys out right here, Ooh, yeah. And then, what you want to do is grab these and just curve them. Let's curve them. Curve them outwards like this. And now you got that more natural curve. And the same thing with uh, this. These edge corners are here. Just curve them. And now you got s smoother corners. And grab these guys as well and just curve them. There you go. Eyedropper tool. See, look at that. And we c I guess we could always grab all these other corners too and just curve them out. Make it a little softer. Oh, look at that. Eyedropper tool. Make it soft. Soft. It looks good to me. I like how it looks. Really like how it looks. It looks very nice. Yes, very nice. Very nice. So now let's make it. Uh, let's make it full of some liquid. Eh? So we can go ahead and grab this whole layer and duplicate it. Lock the top layer. And then what we're going to do is uh, grab these two guys and get rid of the strokes. Okay. 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 And now. What is we gonna do? Is um now what we're gonna do is uh what do you call it? What should I call it? What should I call it? So now let's color it. Let's color it, okay? So this top part, let's make it a darker color. Let's grab this blue. And let's turn the hue. So let's put the hues here. Let's turn it into this red. Because why not? Why not red? Okay. And now we're going to grab this guy. And fill it up as well. But we'll do a blue. We'll do this light blue right here. What we're gonna do is go to our lightness and bump it to almost white. So it kind of makes it look clear. 
now you got this now it looks a little clear you know like translucent but not as a, with a gray hue like this guy now let's create liquid inside of it so we can grab our pen tool make one point here and one point here and we'll curve this point like so and we'll just bring back the shape down all the way down here and we'll add another point in the middle and we'll just bring it down like so so now we're gonna get that liquid that liquid feel bring this down more bring it up here and now what we're gonna do now that we've got this guy going on we're just gonna duplicate this part and grab or okay, whatever we're gonna do we're gonna grab this shape that we created and grab this main color and we're gonna hit our subtract And it didn't do what we wanted. Let's do our intersect. Ah, uh, there you go. Now we got what we wanted. And we'll make this liquid a blue liquid. But now you're saying it's not showing up. Well, the reason it's not showing up is because our curve is below our main color. So we need to put it above. There you go. I would just turn this into really light blue. And our opacity is probably super low. And my program does not want to respond for whatever reason. Oh, that's our opacity. It's too low. There you go. Now I got a higher opacity. But you can't really see it. It kind of blends in with the main color too much. So let's try a different color. That yellow's too bright. So we'll try this light blue again. And we'll just change the hue. Let's see what color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this pink too strong? Maybe. But I kind of like this pink. I kind of like this pink, so we're just going to go ahead and keep it. And now what we're going to do is grab our whole, th our whole thing. The color and the stroke layers. Unlock your stroke layer and rotate it. Choo. Negative 5 degrees. Lock your stroke layer again and this layer will just recolor the color. Cool, now you got your little eyedropper tool. Now we just need it dropping uh, a drop. So we just grab our tear tool. Like it like so. Just move it around. And then duplicate it. And make it a little smaller. And there you go. Now we just add some. Uh, some strokes to these guys and we'll make them eight point stroke pressures shabam and now you got your dropper tool I drop a tool dropping some drops dropping some drops dropping some drops dropping some drops cool now let's add some details details We'll add shadows now. And now we'll grab this whole main thing, copy it, and paste it into that shadow layer. And we're just gonna do move it like this so and grab them. Grab all of them. Grab all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Subtract. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now we're just gonna subtract it. And now that we got it subtracted, what should we do now? Well, let's just make a dark blue. A very dark color. And opacity, halfway. And I got a nice shadow. A nice, strong shadow. And we'll do the same thing with this guy. Grab the color. 
duplicate it, duplicate it in your shadow layer. And we're just gonna copy and move it around and grab all these guys, subtract, and then just make a darker version of it. Almost black. And then again, halfway, half opacity, and now you got another shadow. Nice little shadow going on. Very nice shadow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, very nice. You got a nice, uh, what do you call it? Dramatic effect. Dramatic, dramatic, dramatic. Now we're just going to add highlights. So, create a new layer. I created two by accident. Just create one. Call it highlights. Okay. And now that we got the highlights going on, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, create highlights. So just go ahead and uh, grab your pen tool, P, P on your keyboard for pen tool. And we're just gonna go ahead and zoom in. And just do this. Wham. And now for our stroke pressure. Create a point in the middle and bring it up like so. Bring these guys up. Make rounded ends. Make it to the same. Make it to this red, but we're going to make it really light. Like so. Pretty much white. Shbam. And now you got the highlight. And now we're going to do the same thing for the main body. I'm gonna make one big highlight like this. And now we're just gonna make it into that very light blue again. But then we're just gonna go ahead and turn it white. Almost white. Yeah, and that's actually gonna have to be white. And now you got a highlight. Very simple. Very simple stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very simple. Easy. Now you got your eyedropper tool, which is this tool on the left side of the screen. A nice little eyedropper tool. And uh, we could always add details to the drops. So, I mean, let's just add a little highlight to the drops. So, go in your drops, add a little highlight. And this stroke is going to have to be four. And then we're going to turn it into that same pink. And almost white. There you go. Half opacity. Yeah, 75% opacity. And then just duplicate it onto this other guy. And just turn it small. Shrink it down. And then two point stroke. There you go. And they got some little details on the on the drops. Not too much. Not too many details. Don't need too many. And this guy's actually gonna be a six point because it's too thick still. So. There you go. And we'll do this guy six point as well because it's also too thick. There you go. Perfect. I drop it too. Sweet. Now we got. Now it's all done. Now we created two simple illustrations. Pen tool. I drop it too. Let's unlock the stroke layer. And we can always just make it big. Perfect, but we'll just keep it small. Sweet. That is perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, that is all for this live stream. Ugh, just some practice making some illustrations, some practice talking in live streaming. Hopefully, it wasn't too uh, too bad. I don't think it was if I do say so myself but 
yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you like guys liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And then uh, have some fun. Have a good day. Have a good life. I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.